Welcome back to another video here with Angel B Designs. I'm Angel B. Thank you so much for watching. If you are new, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. Um, in today's video, you guys, we are going to be sublimating silky socks, okay? I was in Fargo about two weeks ago, and I met this brand. It was called Silky Socks. The guy who owns it, I believe his name is Danny. Um, I met him in Fargo. Now, I had, I've heard of Silky Socks, but I had never used Silky Socks. So that in Fargo was my first time trying out Silky Socks. And as soon as I got home, you guys, I placed an order. So I did get a whole bunch of stuff. I got some socks, obviously. I did get um, some shirts to try some all over sublimation. I got a sports bra. I got a couple other things. So I'm going to do um, not like a sublimation haul. I'm going to do each thing in a different video. So the next thing I want to try is the all over sublimation t-shirt that I got. Um, so I am going to do because that process is so tedious and I have to piece together, you know, pieces of paper. I didn't want to put that with this into one video because it would be too long. So in this video, you guys, we're just going to be doing the silky socks. Okay. So I do have to practice a little bit more just because I need to get the technique of, you know, getting rid of that white line. So in, on this sock, you don't really see a white line here, but on the back part you do. Um, but like on this one, you can see it a lot. So I do have to practice my technique, but I am going to show you what you have to do to refrain from getting that. And then I do have some smaller ones here. Okay, so this is what we're doing in today's video, guys. So go ahead and stick around for that. Okay, guys, so I have my images printed out here. Um, and I have four so that I can print on each side of the socks. Um, so what I'm going to do, because this is my first time doing this. Um, I did do this at Wallapalooza. But you guys, I forgot what, I, for, I forgot. Okay, I forgot. I should have recorded it, and I didn't, and I forgot. So, what I'm going to do, I'm kind of winging it here, but let's see. So, I have my butcher paper down. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get these lined up, okay? And then, actually, what I'm going to do, because I want to make sure it's right, is... I'm going to tape it and I know I know for a fact when we were doing it um, at Wallapalooza we weren't using tape but y'all yeah, don't want it to be messed up so I'm going to use some tape I'm going to tape it right here and then I'm going to flip it over okay and this is so that I ensure that it's lined up the way that it should be So I don't get any issues. Okay. I think that's good. And then I'm going to add, so I'm going to go ahead and press this first. I'm at 400 degrees. We're going to press it for 40 seconds at medium pressure. And then I do have these little like cardboard jigs here that I'm going to actually, I have these ones. I was going to use a cardboard because I had multiple pair of socks that I wanted to do, but since I'm going to go ahead and press them one at a time, I'm going to insert this and I probably could have inserted it just now, but I'm going to insert these little sock jigs We're going to um, press the second one because in order to not get like that little white line on the side, I know you have to turn them a little bit. So that's what I'm going to do to try to make sure we don't get that white line. Oh, okay. So this is the first side. Y'all, that looks so good. That looks good. Okay. So now what I'm going to do, well, these are kind of hot, is I'm going to insert the little jig and I'm gonna kind of 
pull it to the inside so that we have a little bit of color showing on this side so that when we go to press the other one we don't get that white line okay and I'm gonna I'm gonna bring you guys in and show you in one second so you can see exactly what I'm talking about okay so what I was saying was when you um put them on the jig and you go to do the other side if you kind of like roll them a little bit so that this color is showing a little bit on this side and you do it on each side when you go to press it you won't get that white line hopefully that makes sense okay So we have our other pieces here and then I'm just going to slide it down away from this other ink just so I don't get any ink transfer and then I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to line it up. Okay, that feels pretty good. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and press it. We're gonna do it again for um, 400 degrees for 40 seconds. Now you guys, this is the first time I've ever done it. So I'm hoping it, co <laughs> it comes out right. Um, but these are for my son if they don't. Um, they do sell these jigs on the website, the inserts. I don't know if they're called jigs, but they sell the little inserts on the website. I think they're like $5. I'll try to make sure I leave the insert, the sock inserts down below. And then everything I'm using in today's video will also be linked down below. The socks, everything like that. So please make sure you check the description box for the materials. So we just have a couple seconds here. Let me see, do we get the white line? We got it a teeny bit on this one and a teeny bit on this one. So I didn't get the white line. Woo! Y'all, I think I just burnt my fingerprint off. Oh my gosh, that was hot. Where are my gloves? Jesus, this metal thing is like steaming hot. Um, but here is the first one, y'all. That looks oh my gosh, I really burnt my finger like so bad. Um, but this is the first one, y'all. I think that looks so good. So, on this side, you don't really see the white line on this side because I rolled it good on this side you see how you can see it right here that white line that's what that's what rolling will prevent okay so I did get it a little bit on this side but I did not get it on this side okay and then let's look at the other one This looks so good. And I got it a lot on this sock. So we got that white line right there again. So the first press, the reason why I got the white line was because when I did the first press, I should have used the insert on the first press and rolled it. So that when I went to flip it over, I could roll it the other way to prevent that white line. So that's why I got it. But I do have another pair of socks I want to press. They're these blue ones. So I'm going to wait for those to cool off because I basically just burnt my fingerprints off these two fingers. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead. We're going to press these blue ones and I'm going to see if I can not get that white line on 
these blue ones. I gotta go find my gloves. I will be right back. Okay. I'm also gonna get a new piece of butcher paper. But this little insert, maybe that's why if you go on the silky socks, um, the inserts are not metal. And I'm, I'm starting to feel like that's why they're not metal because these little things, baby, are hot. But I didn't get the other ones because I knew I had these ones. But Lord Jesus. Okay. So what I'm going to do on this pair to try to not get that white line is I'm going to kind of like scrunch it in like not scrunching it I'm going to do it the other way I'm going to roll it outward so I'm going to roll it out and then place it down same with this one I'm just going to roll it outward and then when we go to press this side I'll be rolling it outward again okay so I'm going to roll it outward And then we're gonna let me get a new piece of butcher paper I don't want any ink transfer so alright and then like I said we're gonna roll it outward Place it down, roll it outward, and place it, place it down. All right, and then we're going to take our paper here, and we want to make sure it's nice and lined up. Now I can take these gloves off, so I can feel and make sure it's on there. You know what, for this one, I'm actually going to hide it, just because I can't really see. But I think if I cut all the white off, it'll help me be able to line it up better. Okay, yeah, so I can see it. There we go. So now I know it's on there. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to cut all the white off. Because now I know it's lined up right. And again, this is my first time doing this, working with these socks. So this is really just trial and error, but that's how I like to learn. I like to do things myself and, you know. And I'm going to place tape here. Just because, I don't know. I want to make sure it don't move. I don't know, maybe I'm being extra, but. I just like to make sure my stuff is secure and it doesn't move and we don't get any ghosting or anything. Okay, so that looks good. So I'm going to go ahead and press again 400 degrees for 40 seconds. Okay. You guys, I really like these and they're super soft too. This one came out really, really good. I like it. It's a little baseball. Hopefully my ring light isn't too bright. I'm going to turn it down just a little bit. But yeah, trying to see if I can not get that white line on this pair. So, let's see. But again, you guys, if you're just like skimming through the video, please make sure you check the description box for all the materials. Okay? 
So I'm just gonna go ahead and cut the tape. All right, that looks good. Um, where are my gloves? I am not picking these up a second time. I can't believe I burned my finger like that. Okay. So here is the first press. Looks really good. Okay. So now we're going to turn them over. And then again, we're going to roll them because we want to try to prevent that white line. All right, and our second press is about done. I don't know where this extra random piece of paper just came from. <sighs> okay, so I definitely still got some white lines, but I think so my folding didn't work oh okay this one doesn't look too bad so here's this side let me turn this way so y'all can see and I'm gonna turn my ring light off okay so this side doesn't look too too bad as far as like the white line I think I got it now this side, there's, you can see it, there's a small white line here. So, I think the issue is this is not wide enough. It's not stretching the sock out enough. So when I'm putting it in there, I think you need just a tiny bit of stretch in the sock. A little bit, not a whole, like you don't want it stretched like this, but you want, a, I think you want a little bit of stretch like this. And this, um insert that I have isn't stretching it enough so I may go ahead and purchase the silky socks actual sock insert and try these again or if you want to make one make it a little bit bigger because yeah this again the second one this one here I got it the white line here and I got it here too so yeah I think the issue is that my sock isn't being stretched out enough Okay, but aside from that, look how these came out, you guys. These came out so good. Vibrant, everything. Look at that. These look really good. And they have a good amount of stretch. And like I said, they're soft too. They're really, really soft. Like this top part is like really soft. This bottom part is really soft too. And they're thick. These are really good like um, winter socks. But I plan on wearing these maybe this weekend. It depends on if it's hot outside because my son does have a game this weekend. He has a, I know it's upside down and backwards, but it's not backwards to me. I can read it. Um, but yeah. That is all I have for this video, guys. Trying out some silky socks for the very first time. I do have some other products by Silky Socks that I do want to try. Um, I have some shirts 
I have it's like a bra set thing I was gonna try as well so definitely make sure you are subscribed so that you can see the other sublimation items that I got from the silky socks but that's all I have for this video guys thank you so much for watching until next time bye